I'm absolutely delighted with the way the conference has gone. Uh, it was quite a challenge to set it up because we did want to have a networking component where the headway groups across Scotland could come and meet with one another. Many people would be absolutely in despair if it wasn't for the support of headway and similar voluntary organisations. I think it's great that they get together and get a chance to mingle. When I look back to say 10 years ago, I think there's much more optimism today, a much uh, greater realisation that it's being accepted as a problem, its nature is understood, the scale is understood, and that there is a recognition of what needs to be done. But we also wanted to have enough allied health professionals here to come and hear the information about the ABI MCN. The emphasis is shifting away from the hospital towards the community, towards long-term conditions, and head injury, I'm sure, can find its place in there. But it's not just for the, the person who sustains the injury, of course, but for their whole family and everyone who cares. It's the, in the long term that, that's the most important, and we have to make sure that all of the partners, whether that's in the health service or in local authorities, and of course, importantly, the voluntary sector, are working together to, to get the best package of care for the person. We know that way it'll be less likely to fail, and the person will be able to live as independently as possible. So it's very important that we, we get that right. It's been good. Uh, I would like coming here, right? And it's good to see that and progress is being made. This is coming, you know, this policy is coming and they need to be looking at how they commission services and how they're going to resource it in the future. It'll require people speaking out and making the problem well known as Headway is doing very effectively.